Alrighty, y'all, I'm picking up again in Psalms. I gave y'all some a little while ago. I'm going to give you the rest of Psalms starting right now. <clears throat> Psalm 143, a Psalm of David. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and thy faithfulness answer me, and in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no living man be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul. He hath <clears throat> smitten my life down to the ground. He hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all thy works. I muse on the work of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty land. Selah. Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning. For in thee do I trust, cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake. For thy righteousness sake, bring my soul out of trouble, and out of thy mercy cut off mine enemies, and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Psalm 144, Psalm of David. Blessed be the Lord, my strength, which teacheth my hands to war, and my fingers to fight, my goodness and my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer, my shield, and he in whom I trust, who subdueth my people under me. Lord, what is man that thou takest knowledge of him, or the son of man that thou makest account of him? Man is like to vanity. His days are as a shadow that passeth away. Bow thy heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Cast forth lightning, and scatter them. Shoot out thine arrows, and destroy them. <clears throat> Send thine hand from above. Rid me, and deliver me out of great waters from the hand of strange children whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song unto thee, O God, upon a psaltery and an instrument of ten strings will I sing praises unto thee. It is he that giveth salvation unto kings, who delivereth David his servant from the hurtful sword. Rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children, whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. That our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth, that our daughters may be as cornerstones, polished after the similitude of a palace, that our garners may be full, affording all manner of store, that our sheep may bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our streets, that our oxen may be strong to labor, that there be no breaking in nor going out, that there be no complaining in our streets. Happy is that people that is in such a case, yea, happy is that people whose God is the Lord, 
<clears throat> Psalm 145, another Psalm of David. I will extol thee, O my King, O God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise thy works to another, and shall declare thy mighty acts. I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty, and of thy wondrous works. And men shall speak of the might of thy terrible acts, and I will declare thy greatness. They shall abundantly utter the memory of the great goodness, and shall sing of thy righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger, and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. All thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. Thou shalt speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy power to make known the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. The kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and thy dominion endureth throughout all generations. The Lord upholdeth all that fall and raiseth up all those that he bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon thee, and thou givest them their meat in due season. Thou openest thine hand and satisfiest the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. The Lord preserveth all them that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord, and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Psalm 146, and it doesn't say who wrote that psalm. Praise ye the Lord, praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, will I praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. His breath goeth forth, he returneth to his earth, and that very day his thoughts perish. Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God which made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that therein is, which keepeth truth forever, which executeth judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry. The Lord looseth the prisoners. The Lord openeth the eyes of the blind. The Lord raiseth them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous, the Lord preserveth the strangers, he relieveth the fatherless and widow, but the way of the wicked he turneth upside down. The Lord shall reign forever, even thy God, O Zion, unto all generations. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 147, no author given. Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto our God, for it is pleasant and praise is comely. The author doth build up Jerusalem, he gathereth together the outcasts of Israel. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. 
He telleth the numbers of the stars. He calleth them by their names. Great is our Lord and of great power. His understanding is infinite. The Lord lifteth up the meek. He casteth the wicked down to the ground, singing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praise upon the harp unto our God, who covereth the heaven with clouds, who prepareth rain for the earth, who maketh grass to grow up, to grow upon the mountains. He giveth the beast his food, and to the young ravens which cry. He delighteth not in the strength of the horse, he taketh not pleasure in the legs of a man. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him, and those that hope in his mercy. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise thy God, O Zion. For he hath strengthened the bars of thy gates. He hath blessed thy children within thee. He maketh peace in thy borders, and filleth thee with the finest of wheat. He sendeth forth his commandment upon earth. His word runneth very swiftly. He giveth snow like wool. He scattereth the hoarfrost like ashes. He casteth forth his ice like morsels. Who can stand before his cold? Not me. <laughs> I guarantee you, it's not me. He sendeth out his word and melteth them. He causeth his wind to blow and the waters flow. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statues and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and as far as his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 148, no are given. <clears throat> Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise ye him, all his angels. Praise ye him, all his hosts. Praise ye him, sun and moon. Praise him, all ye stars of light. Praise him, ye heavens of heavens, and ye waters that be above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. He hath also established them forever and ever. He hath made a decree which shall not pass. Praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons and all deeps, fire and hell snow and vapor, stormy wind, fulfilling his word. Mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl, kings of the earth and all people, princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalteth the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 149. No Arthur. Praise ye the Lord, sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise in the congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouths 
and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written this honor have all his saints praise ye the Lord Psalm 150 and that is the last of the Psalms <clears throat> no Arthur name given praise ye the Lord praise God in his sanctuary praise him in the firmament of his power praise him for his mighty acts praise him according to his excellent greatness praise him with the sound of the trumpet praise him with the psaltery and harp praise him with the timbrel and dance praise him with stringed instruments and organs praise him upon the loud cymbals praise him upon the high sounding cymbals let everything that hath breath Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Bam, y'all. So we're finished with Psalms. And it was some good stuff there, y'all. That's it for now. I'll be back later this evening with your evening Bible readings from the New Testament. And we are getting close to having the New Testament wrapped up. And God is getting close to having planet Earth wrapped up. You know, he created Earth with his voice. And with his voice, he's going to destroy the Earth. Very soon. <clears throat>